Today, I want to just spend a few moments reminding us about Christ the healer. About Christ the healer. The Jesus of the Bible is the Jesus of today. Amen? The Jesus of the Bible is the Jesus of today. And we believe in a living Jesus. We believe in a Jesus who works wonderful miracles. And he is the one who meets the needs of the people. I just want to remind us of a few things about Jesus Christ. First of all, what we must understand is that Christ is the perfect revelation of God. In Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1, 2, and 3, it says, God who in at different times spoke in different ways through the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us through his Son. So Jesus is God speaking to us, loud and clear. And nobody can say God never spoke. He spoke in his Son. God has spoken to us in Jesus. That means everything Jesus did and said and did is God speaking to you and me. Is God communicating to you and me, telling something about himself. And when it comes to sickness and disease, we must understand that Jesus, as we will see in a few minutes from now, Jesus healed every sickness and every disease. He healed every sickness, every disease. And he healed all who came to him. So today, whatever your condition is, it's covered. Even if it is something novel, something new, something maybe they didn't know about earlier, it's covered. He's there to heal. He's there to deliver. He heals all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. And that's what we must pursue. That's what we want to say, Lord Jesus, we want to be in that day when all will be healed. Not a few, not some, but all. We want to see that. Amen? That's what we must expect. And that's what we want to do even today. And I want you to be a person of faith. I want you to be a person who's courageous and say, Lord, I want to see. I want to see the blind eyes open, the deaf hear, the lame walk. I want the Jesus of the Bible to be the Jesus of today. Another thing I want to emphasize is that Christ healed on the basis of the cross. So today you and I are on the other side of the cross. The work is completed. We are here. Why do you and I say our sins are forgiven? Because Jesus bore my sins on the cross. He paid for it. He took it. Secondly, we also see that Jesus Christ, Christ healed on the basis of covenant. You and I have a covenant with God. It's the new covenant. It's a covenant through Jesus Christ. And if the Abrahamic covenant provided healing, surely the new covenant through Jesus Christ has healing provided for. It's in the covenant, meaning it's God's provision for you. Jesus treated sickness and disease as a work of Satan. He didn't say, God put her in that manner. No. He said, Satan has bound her. And you and I must treat sickness and disease, all sickness and disease, in that same manner. This is not the work of God. This is the work of the devil or whatever other reason it came from. But it's not from God. It's not going to be in my body. Jesus healed in response to faith. So when you look at the Gospels, very simple. There's one thing he required of people who came to him. Faith. Just believe. I'm in covenant with God and God's covenant provision is healing for my body. So I receive it. In simple childlike faith, I'm receiving my healing. The last thought, which is the base, simple basis of this message today, is that Christ is the same yesterday, today, and for ever. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He hasn't changed. Even today, He heals everybody who comes to Him in faith. He heals every sickness and every disease. Uh, don't exclude any problem, any mental, physical problem. Don't exclude it. Jesus is healer. 